Hello, this video contains 7 UK driving theory test practice questions. After each question, the answer will be revealed. However, before that, try pausing the video and answering the question yourself. What is the maximum speed limit for cars towing trailers and caravans on dual carriageways? A. 50 miles an hour B. 60 miles an hour C. 70 miles an hour or D. 80 miles an hour The correct answer is 60 miles an hour. In wet weather, how much will the stopping distance increase? A. It doesn't. B. 2 times. C. 4 times. Or D. 8 times. The correct answer is 2 times, so double the distance between you and the car in front. What road users are allowed to use Toucan Crossings? A. Pedestrians only B. Horse riders and pedestrians C. Cyclists and pedestrians Or D. Motorcyclists and pedestrians The correct answer is cyclists and pedestrians. When may you pick up and use your mobile phone in a vehicle? A. You can use it even while driving. B. When stationary in traffic. C. If you answer a call and then put the phone down, e.g. put it into a phone holder. Or D. Only when safely parked. The correct answer is only when safely parked. It is illegal to pick up and use a mobile phone or other device when driving, even if you are stopped in traffic or at lights. If a pedestrian is on a zebra crossing, what must you do? A. Give way to the pedestrian. B. Sound your horn before proceeding. C. Proceed carefully and slowly. Or D. Accelerate rapidly to get past the pedestrian. The correct answer is give way to the pedestrian. If a pedestrian is not on the crossing but is waiting to cross, you should be ready to slow down or stop and give way. At a level crossing, if the red lights are still flashing after the train has gone by, what must you do? A. Proceed over the crossing carefully. B. Get out the vehicle and investigate. C. Carry on waiting until the lights change. Or D. Turn around and find another route. The correct answer is carry on waiting until the lights change. This is because the red flashing lights show that there is another train coming and you don't want to be in the way of it. If you are driving on a main road and wish to turn left into a side road but you are behind a cyclist what should you do? A. Overtake the cyclist before the junction B. Move close behind the cyclist C. Drive alongside the cyclist on their right or D. Wait behind the cyclist at a good distance until they have passed the junction. The correct answer is wait behind the cyclist at a good distance until they have passed the junction. If you get too close or drive next to or overtake the cyclist before turning, you could cause an accident, cause stress to cyclists or cause the cyclist to swerve or stop. You do not want to do that. How did you do? Comment your answers. Don't worry if you got some wrong though, you can still comment them. If you found this video useful, please like and share it and don't forget to subscribe as I'll be trying to post at least three times a week, maybe more. Thanks. Also, the DVSA bases the questions for the real theory test on these three books. The official DVSA guide to driving the essential skills, the official highway code and know your traffic signs. 
They are essential reading if you want to pass your driving theory test. I've put links in the description and in the pinned comment. Make sure you study them well. Happy, safe driving.